Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to Watkins Glen for the Watkins Glen 44. This is going to be race number eight in the More Freedom Series, season four. And the race, the, the points are have changed up every single race. So let's go through your current top ten. Your points leader will be the number three of Geek Girl Games. Second place will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Third will be the 88 of NM. Fourth will be the 49 of Jetman. Fifth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Sixth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Seventh will be the double zero of Mudbone. Eighth will be the eight of Moon Bunny. Ninth will be the 95 of Zed Brenna. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 72 of Duchess. Checking in on your team and chassis standings. MBR still has a slim margin over to Ace of the Zed Motorsports. Douche Motorsports third. Amish Buggy Racing fourth. And rounding out the top five will be G3 Motorsports. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all your points and everything as of right now as we head into race number eight here in the More Freedom Series. Fans are piling in here at... Watkins Glen, and I think it's about time, so let's go racing. Well, let's go through your starting top 10 today for this Watkins Glen 44. Starting on the pole will be the 51 of AJM, and on his outside, the 25 of JTM. Starting third will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos, and on his outside, the double zero of Mudbone. Starting fifth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts, and on her outside, the 211 of Hogs. Starting 7th will be the 88 of NM, and on his outside, the 07 of Douche Baggins. Starting 9th will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. So several previous race winners here in the More Freedom Series starting up in the top 10 today. That 51, the double zero, the 420, the 88, uh, some probably other people. I don't remember who all has won a race here. Uh, but it's a long pace lapse here today at Watkins Glen. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to have lots of green flag action as the 51 of AJM is going to be bringing us down to the green flag with the 25 of JTM on his outside and that 40 of Veteran Chaos behind him. Other previous race winner, that double zero of Mudbone. Again, he's starting second row. And we're going to see what's... AJM has here today. See if he can get out to a lead. And that 51 Zen for MBR. So it's going to be a grueling day. I mean, it's not hot here today at Watkins Glen. It's only in the mid 50s. But all these turns, if they're not used to road racing, it can be a grueling day. And uh, I was very surprised to see uh, AJM put that car on the pole. But. He's going to be leading us down. We're coming down the stretch. And that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car is ducked off. There's the green flag. We are underway. <laughs> Heading down into turn one is that 51 of AJM, the 40 of Veteran Chaos right there behind him, trying to get a, a fender underneath him as they head off of turn one. Headed towards the S's up to the back stretch chicane. Into the S as they go, the 51 out to the lead, the 40 of Veteran Chaos behind him. We got him three wide back here with the 88, the double zero, and the 25. The 49 of Jetman trying to throw his hat into the mix right here. As we're headed towards the chicane on the back stretch, the double zero, the 49 double wide, as well as that 25 of JTM almost double wide with the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Bunch of MBR teammates running out, running together on the track right here. As we see that 96 of Nikos have had a, who's just had an awful season as we see the 25 of JTM down to the inside of that double zero of Mudbone. Catch up to the front for just a second as we see the 51 of AJM off of turn one down the front stretch. He's going to be your leader here on lap number one. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on the left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. So leader on lap number one is that 51 of AJM. But that 420 of Queen of Hearts is closing in right now on your leader as she has taken over the second position after having started in the fifth position. So 
that 420, that Red Bull Toyota for Aces Gazette Motorsports might be hooked up here today at the Watkins Glen. Jump back through this field, see what's going on. As again, three MBR teammates right here, that 25, the 29, and the 96. Currently all top 10 runners right now as the 10th place will be that 96 of Nico. As we see the 211 of Hogs out to the outside as, or outside line as that 34 of Super Snake looking to make the pass. But here comes the 33 of Harvey Jones down to the inside of the 34 of Super Snake. He's gonna get that position away as they head towards the final turn here towards the front stretch. Deviant trying it on the outside right there, but that 0-7 of Douche Baggins is not going to let him get away. He's going to get down to the inside. He's going to get around him, and here comes the Deviant's teammate, the 300 of Resemble down into turn one. Actually, all the Drop Bear Racing team right here on the track, the 799, the 300, and the 999, all right there running pretty much on the track with each other right now. As we see that 300 of Resemble down, trying to get down to the inside of that 07 of Douche Baggins as they head through the S's. Resemble gonna have a run here into the S's and towards the bus stop. As we do see that 51 of AGM, still your leader here. So Resemble taking away that position from the 07. And I think the 999 of Deviant's gonna make that run too. We'll jump up back here towards the front, see if we've got any battling for the lead, it's mostly single file as we see the 40 of Veteran Chaos able to get around that 420 at Queen of Hearts now. So Vet up to the second position for the Kaker Racing Team. His teammate and car owner, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, currently runs in the 21st position. As we see the 49 of Jetman diving it down to the inside of that 88 of NM, giving him plenty of room. NM's got a good run off the turn here as they head towards the S's. Wish, or I'm sorry, the uh, Jetman is not letting him get away. He's thinking about making it, trying to get around him on the outside. That's going to allow that double zero of Mudmone to possibly make a run. Mudbone's going to have to pull back in line as they head towards the sh backstretch chicane as Vet is ever so close to the back end of that 51 of AJM here on uh, lap number four. Again, 18 laps of hopefully green flag action here today at Watkins Glen. Heading down into left-hander, we see that 40 of Veteran Chaos trying to get him on the inside. AJM out giving him room down into the right-hander AGM still going to be your leader here at the end of this lap, but Vet is getting racy. The Army is battling it out with the Marine Corps right here on the track as the Marines are leading that 51 of AJM and the retired Army Vet, the number 40 of Veteran Chaos, right there in second position. As they head in through the S's, AJM still going to be your leader, but that 40, he is absolutely fired up and hooked up here today at Watkins Glen. We're going to see if he's got it into the back or into the chicane, but it looks like we're going to have a yellow flag. We saw those flashing yellow lights. We're going to get a race back to the caution, though. As a 51 through the turn, the vet is just right there on his back bumper. At 51, he's going to have the inside line on the next turn. Here comes the 420 at Queen of Hearts. Vet is going to have a good run to the outside, back to the stripe. Your leader here on lap number five. Actually, I think we're starting lap number six. Is going to be the 51 of AJM as he takes us into the caution. Lined up behind that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. It looks like the 23 of Fuller Than You is going to be the one that brought out that caution. So we'll check that out in just a minute after we get through. While he was involved in that caution, it's showing him out of the race as of right now. Current top 10. 
your leader on the track is the 50, excuse me the 51 of AJM. Second place will be that 40 of Veteran Chaos. Third will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Fourth will be the 88 of NM. Fifth will be the 49 of Jetman. Sixth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Seventh will be the 25 of JTM. Eighth will be the 96 of Nico. Ninth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Copious amounts of MBR drivers in the top 10. Actually, all the MBR drivers currently running in the top 10. So I don't know what MBR has in store for us for the rest of this race, but six drivers in the top 10 right now leaves little room for the rest of the field. Well, I'm guessing we're going to see pit stops here. I'm not sure if this is going to be a one pit stop affair or if this is going to be multiple pit stops here today. Lap six of 18, we got 12 to go. I'm not sure if they can make it the last 12 laps. I would assume so, as it looks like the 51, I would thought the 51 was staying, uh, 51 and the 40, I don't know what the deal is here, but the 51 and the 40 are staying out. Actually, a few people are staying out. 420 is in, so we'll stick with your leaders here and see what the pitch strategy holds as maybe they're thinking one pit stop and these others may have to go too but let's see what brought out our caution here well this is going to be a self caution by the 23 of fuller than you i'm guessing probably he's got a tire down here and he's going to pull a veteran chaos here at the end of this pit road wall you can see his car just slides left trying to get into the pits and um yeah so his car slides left right there getting into the pits we'll see that again we're gonna see him coming in he's obviously off the pace you can see his car just slides left so i'm guessing he's got a tire down unable to actually drive that in and he's gonna hit the end of pit road wall there and that's gonna put him out of the race oh my goodness we are already back to green flag action after one lap of, of caution, back to green flag action. AJM is leading us down into turn one. That double zero, or the 666 of Pistol Pete is into the pits. A double zero Mudbone driving it down into turn one right there next to the 51. They're making it three wide for the lead right now. The 51 has got the hammer down. The double zero of Mudbone absolutely trying to get the lead from your leader, the 51 of AJM through the S's. Mudbone on the outside right here. Inside line is that 51. Double zero of Mudbone with a heck of a start right here as he is looking for win number two this season in the More Freedom Series. He has now put his car into the top position. That's going to push that 51 of AJM possibly to the fourth position. So Mudbone out of nowhere drives his car from down to the into the lead basically he just absolutely was not letting eat three i mean i'm i'm stunned i'm just don't even know what to say dumbfounded it's insane insane move by that double zero of mudbone he is going to bring it into the pits so very close right there as we're seeing everybody come in uh, the 40 of Veteran Chaos is going to take over the lead after that insane move by that double zero of Mudbone. So Vet is taking over the lead here as second place is going to... Let's go through your current top 10 on the track. Uh, that's going to be your leader, the 40 of Veteran Chaos, which is, he's probably going to be coming in in just a moment. Second place is going to be the 40 or the 07 third of Douchebaggins. Third will be the 77 of Seabass. Fourth will be the 96 of Nico. Uh, these all have not pitted. Uh, then we got the 300 of Resemble, the 999 of Deviant, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, and the 20 of Adam B5000. So I guess we're going to be seeing some pit stops in just a moment as Vet working down to the second to the final turn here. Left-hander into a right. We're going to see if he pulls into the pit lane area. 
Looks like he is down in underneath that white stripe, so I think we're going to see Vet into the pit, into pit lane. So close right there, almost pulling a Veteran Chaos, was Veteran Chaos. Looks like the 13 of King of the Aces is in. I'm not sure if he's got issues or maybe he pulled a Veteran Chaos and hit the end of pit road wall, but pretty much everybody else who hadn't pitted is now into the pits. Checking in through this field. We'll catch up to your leader. Oh, I'm not sure who your leader is right now. I don't think it's the 666. I think it's the 96 of Nico. Watching them come out of the pits. Oh, no! The 777 of Seabass into the end of pit road wall right there. That's going to bring out a caution. Your leader on the track is... I'm just... I'm, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know, folks. I'm just here announcing. So, caution here on the speedway as the 96 of Nico is your leader. He has had a pit stop. Uh, there's been several that haven't pitted yet. So, King of the Aces must have had an issue, and he is sitting in the pits. He's a lap down as of right now. Um, treacherous exit on pit road there for some reason as we saw an issue with the 777 of Seabass. Uh, looks like we have several drivers that haven't pitted including the, that can't be right, the 40 of Veteran Chaos. I'm pretty sure Vet has pitted so it just hasn't updated in timing and scoring yet. But let's go through your current top 10 I suppose. Uh, your leader is the 96 of Nico. Second's going to be the 300 of Resemble. Third will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Fourth will be the uh, 420 of Queen of Hearts. Fifth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Sixth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Seventh will be the 11 of T.C. Roberts. Eighth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Ninth will be the 10 of Scooter. And running at your top 10 will be the 49 of Jetman. Yeah, so I am showing all the pitting is completed for at least one person as, again, Seabass might be out of this race. We saw what happened to him. He's getting... He's sitting there on pit road, and technically that means he's being towed back to the pits. And so as he's being towed, he's going to, like, lose some laps here. So that's why you're seeing him just sitting there, and I'm sure that he'll get repairs and all that stuff. I don't think we can see anything as far as repair going on, and I'm sure that's the same with the 13 of King of the Aces. As we do see the 96 of Nico and the 300 of Resemble treacherously coming into the pits you just hold your breath every single time you see people entering pit road watch that 96 of Nico as he dives into his pits it should be the last one for him as we got six laps to go here at Watkins Glen he is going to get that lap led so fuel only for the 96, looks like the 300 of Resemble is going to beat him out. So fuel only for that 96 of Nico. So you can see there's some treachery right there at the end of pit road. So wild mix-up craziness going on right now as your leader on the track is the one, the only... The 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Let's go through your top 10 as of right now as we head in. We're, we're going to get the we're at the one to go, folks. We're at the one to go. So your current top 10, your leader, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Second's going to be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Third will be the 96 of Nico. Fourth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Fifth will be the 300 of Resemble. Sixth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Seventh will be the 51 of AJM. Eighth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Ninth will be the 356 of ice cream some days and rounding out your top 10 will be the 203 of signs as they get them lined up double file that 71 of kung fu beer is technically your leader right now the 
There's still some timing and scoring weirdness going on as it's showing Nico in the third position, but we know he's not. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody's going to need to pit before the end of this race, but I think Nico's probably good to go to the end. KFB looking for his first win in the series here, and it is a good chance for him as he dives down to the front stretch, slow to the line. Green flag is out, and we are back underway. KFB inside into turn one. That 420 at Queen of Hearts on the outside, and there's that wild crazy man, the double zero of Mudbone. KFB not getting a good run off the turn. He is a little bit slow into the S's. That 420 at Queen of Hearts is going to get a good run, and she is going to take back, take over the lead here on with five laps to go. So again, not sure if anybody is going to need to pit before the end of this race and what that's going to mean for the rest of the rest of the field here as we see our pulse hitter, the 51 of AGM, back into the fourth position now. Right there in front of that double zero of Mudbone, who again, wild, crazy moves at the beginning of that last caution. Almost took over the lead, had to duck into the pits as we see the 420 heading down the straightaway here towards this left-hander. As we see the 51 now diving down to the inside of that eight of Moon Bunny. Moon Bunny, who started a dead last here today, she's into the pits. As we see, this might be crazy. Moon Bunny into the pits as AJM takes over the third position. Again, we don't know if any of these drivers are going to have to pit. The crew chiefs are playing it close, playing it close to them, close to their heart, close to the chest. There we go, close to the chest. As we see that 25 of JTM through the S's, down to the into the inside outside here on that double zero of Mudbone. So that 420 of Queen of Hearts, I believe Queen did win earlier this season, didn't she? Question mark. I can't, I don't know. We're we're only in the eighth race, and I don't even remember all of them. Um, I am showing the triple seven, the 13, and the 23 all out of this race as of right now. So tough break again for Seabass, King of the Aces, and Fuller out of this race here today. With four laps to go, your leader is still that 420 at Queen of Hearts. That 71 at Kung Fu Beer, he just had a terrible start right there and just is able to keep up as he is ducking into the pits, folks. Here comes that 71. Splash and go for the 71 at Kung Fu Beer. He's so close. KFB living life on the edge right there. As we see the 420 again out here by herself, second place is at 51, third is, or third is going to be the 25. As we see the 799 of Mike Check working, trying to work to the outside, into the turn on the double zero of Mudbone. Obviously, inside line is going to be the preferred line through these turns. Mudbone heading down the stretch into the chicane on the back stretch. The 799 of Mike Check, who started in uh, the 21st position, currently running sixth on the track, so a good day so far for that 799. As we check in on your leader, that 420 at Queen of Hearts, again, we only got about three laps to go. Check in to see who your fastest lap of the day is by. Fastest lap will be by the 49 of Jetman at 71.611 seconds as we see the 420 ducking into the pits. Or 123 miles an hour. It's so close. As your leader is now that 25 at JTM. So JTM, who is kind of known as being a road course specialist, uh, has taken over the lead here as they head down into the S's. That 51 of AJM, his tires might be going away as we see the double zero, the 799, and now that 40 of Veteran Chaos working to his back bumper. So I'm not sure if his tires have gone away or if he's lost fuel pickup as we are getting down to the last couple laps. As we see your leader again, that 25 at JTM. JTM looking for his first win of the season. Heading into this right-hander. 
Going to head toward the stretch, hit the right. The left-hander and then back into the right. So with two laps remaining here, or it might be three total laps remaining. JTM is ducking in. That's going to allow that 799 of Mike Check to take over the lead. So your leader, as we get a yellow flag. Looks like it's going to be that 88 of NM, possibly. Yeah, looks like the 88 of NM has just had a rough day here. We're trying to catch up to him as we see he is busted up. So AJ or NM is going to be out of this race as well. I'm try to catch up to your leader, who should be the 799 of Mike Check. I think your winner here today is going to be the 799. He is going to he is all by himself on an island right now, unless he has to pit. He's got one lap to make it. So Mike Check is coming down the front stretch. He's going to take the white flag here today at Watkins Glen. So caution-filled race as the 799 of Mike Check takes the white flag. Last lap here for your leader, that 799. We're going to see if he can make it all the way to the end or if he is going to run out of fuel. He pulls in behind that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. Wild, crazy ending here today at Watkins Glen. As the rest of the field works to catch up, uh, I think we're going to get a congratulations, hopefully, for this 799 of Mike Check, even if he runs out of fuel on the last lap here. Well, unless he runs out of fuel before the start finish line, if he can run out of fuel after the start finish line. That might be more ideal. AJM is going to be the leader of the most laps here today. We'll have to check in on who led it halfway as we do see that 799 of Mike check heading down to the left-hander for the final time. Hopefully for him for the final time. Heads towards that left-hander. And I believe Mike would have won this either way, even without this caution, because I don't think anybody... I don't think he was coming into the pits either way. So two, one pit stop for this 799. He's going to bring it off the turn. He's going to bring it down the front stretch. Watching him take the flag. There's your winner today for this Watkins Glen 44. That's 799 of Mike Check. So, very interesting race here today. I think the uh, they're definitely going to need to... Track officials are definitely going to need to take a look at this track for next season and figure out what's going on with the, you know, pit area, pit in and pit out as we did see those people running into the end of pit road wall and hitting that wall out of pit road. But let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner is the 799 of Mike Check. Second will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Third will be the, the 07 of Douche Baggins. Fourth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Fifth will be the 999 of Deviant. Sixth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Winklebaum. Seventh will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Eighth will be the 34 of Super Snake. Ninth will be the 95 of JTM. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 25. Wait. Ninth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. And 10th will be the 25 of JTM. So there's your finishing top 10.
Uh, next week, we head to uh, um, the major, major, one of the major super speedways of the season. The, and we head to Coca-Cola for the Coca-Cola 102. So that is going to be a high-speed, wild, crazy race next week. Looking forward to that as we come off of this road course. Let's take a look at your current points as NM, actually, he's going to be out today. G3 finished down in the order. 49 a Jetman finished about 15 places ahead of her. So we're gonna, you're going to be seeing where everybody is shaking up right now for the points. Let's check in on those team and chassis standings as... It was going to be a good day for NBR, but that was spoiled by those cautions and the 799 of Mike Check winning. Again, fantastic race today for the 799 of Mike Check. Even without that late race caution, I believe Mike would have won this. He was one pit stop. Great pit strategy here today for the 799 um, and the Drop Bear Racing Team. His teammates... You know, Deviant finished 5th and Resemble finished 18th here today. So, hey, it's looking up for the Drop Bear Racing Team. And, again, congratulations to the 799 of Mike Check. He's your winner here today at Watkins Glen. And until next week at the Super Duper Speedway of Coca-Cola, take care. <laughs>